My 12 core Mac Pro arrived with a very interesting piece of third party hardware attached to it. And this is in fact the reason why I chose to purchase this particular machine, as this is a very rare piece of hardware which you don't see very often. From this angle this appears to be a standard looking Mac Pro 12 core with 64 gigs of RAM fitted. As you move around to the side of the machine where the hard drive sits, you notice a very interesting looking hard drive fitted to this machine. It features copper springs allowing it to sink heat to the machine's external metal case and also requires extra power which it derives by being connected directly to the system's DC bus bars. This drive is in fact an OWC 4TB Aura SSD upgrade for the 2013 Mac Pro and cost around $2128 at the time of its release. The drive has the following specs and is capable of the following performance according to postings on OWC's website. And when purchased new it came in a package containing the following contents. As cool as it is to have a 4TB SSD fitted into one of these machines, the drive does come with two caveats however. Firstly it's not the fastest SSD around and is in actual fact quite a bit slower than the standard SSD that comes fitted in one of these machines. Secondly, the most modern version of macOS that supports this drive is macOS Catalina, and this is the message that I got when trying to upgrade to Monterey, so you kind of stuck with Catalina. However, this isn't really a bad thing. I'm quickly going to show you how the machine sees the drive. It's a 3.84TB hard drive with 3.76TB free. I'm now going to demonstrate the drive's performance to you by making use of the Atto Disk benchmark. Interestingly, the disk does have two spiked anomalies in its write performance in the 4KB to 8KB range. However, the rest of its performance is pretty consistent and it has a maximum read speed of 756.98 MB per second. I'm now going to switch over to my quad core machine to see how the standard drive in that machine compares. Again, I'm going to start off by showing you the drive as the system sees it. So in this system we have a 250.79 GB SSD fitted with 29.87 GB free. Again I'm going to make use of the Atto Disk benchmark to test this drive's performance. Like the other drive, this drive also has two spiked anomalies in its write performance in the 4 to 8 kilobyte range. And the write performance is also faster than the read performance in this region. And for the rest of the curve, the split between the read and write performance is also quite a bit larger than it is on the other drive. However, the maximum write performance here is 1198.37 megabytes per second, which is significantly faster than that of the other drive. Even though the SSD in this machine is significantly faster than the 4TB SSD in the 12-core machine, it doesn't really translate into a significant difference in real-world performance, as I don't find myself waiting for the hard drive to read on the 12-core machine. So to sum things up, what you win on the swings you lose on the roundabouts with this 4TB Aura SSD from OWC, in that you gain a significant amount of drive capacity with the loss of some drive performance as well as having Catalina as the latest version of macOS that you can install on the machine. However, with all of this said, the reduction in drive performance doesn't translate into a reduction in performance in a real-world sense, and this machine feels just as snappy as the quad-core machine does. To finish things off, the really nice thing about this drive is the fact that it's pretty much like a Sonnet upgrade for this machine, as it was specifically made for the Trashcan Mac by OWC in the same way as the CPU upgrades for the G4s were made by Sonnet. So it's a pretty cool feature to have in such a machine. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.